Hey there, everyone in orchestra. So we are going to be doing our open string tuning today. Um, so this is going to require you to do some singing. So make sure you're sitting up or standing up nice and straight. We're going to do a lot of breathing from here and singing from here, uh, working on our diaphragm. Yes, you will be singing in here. It really helps with our ear training. So we're going to start off with violins, then we're going to go to violas, cellos, and then last but not least, our basses. So if uh, you are looking for your specific instrument, down in the description, I'll end up having um, go here if you're violin, viola, cello, or bass, or at least attempt to. I'm a new YouTuber now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with each of these. So let's start off with our violins. Here's their, uh, starting off with their G. I'm sorry, we're going to start off with A. We're going to start off with A. Sing it on an A. Ready and A. Now bring up your instrument, still singing, so we can work on our hearing and bow across the A string and A. Keep singing if you need to. It will really help you. And A. Good, now we're going to go down to D. Now on an A. Ready, violins. A. Bringing up your violins. Ready, and play it and sing it. A. Very good, and now let's go ahead on down to G. Oop. That's G, there you go. Uh, on an uh, or, uh. Can't quite hit that low note for myself, so if you need to do it the higher one, you can do that as well. It will be an octave apart, so you just have to really hear it. And bring it up our instrument. Now we're going to go on, this is now our violas, hi violas, um, we're going to go ahead and start with our A, which ends up being the same A the vi violins just did, so if you wanted to do some extra work, go on back to the beginning for the violins. So here is that A. There we go. Singing on A, ready and A, relax your shoulders and And go ahead and bring up your viola and ready, still sing and play and now let's go down to D. Ready and Instrument. Ready and uh, really listen to see if you're in tune. Really listen. A little bit longer. You know, it's Mr. Evans from the future. Past Mr. Evans forgot to do your G string. So let's go ahead and rectify that. Here's your G. Now we'll go on to the next string, 
Mr. Uh, Mr. Evans from the past will take over from there. And now we're going to go down to C. Ooh. That's your C that you want. Sing us on an awe. You can go higher as well. Just make sure you're really listening. So here we go, cellos. We're going to go ahead and start off with your A. Here is your A. Bases is your turn. Double bases. Here we go, string bass. We're gonna go ahead and start with your E first. All right, we're gonna start off with your E. Here's your E. It's maybe a little higher. It's just the lower version of this. Doesn't sound sound is great. So I've got the higher one, so we're going to do both of them together. And for singing purposes, to D. So now once you have done all that, 
my suggestion to you is to go ahead and, go ahead and get out the tuner, just to fine tune. Remember, with fine tuning, everyone who has fine tuning pegs, please use that at this point. You should be really close. If anything slips uh, for the tuning pegs, of course, uh, try to fix those. At this point, you shouldn't be using tuning pegs. That should have been, uh, if it was really flat or really sharp, now you're using your fine tuning bases, you're using the tuning pegs, all right? You're using those on, on, on up top. So, got any questions, let me know um, in the discussion for, for any of the open strings or the question discussion uh, page for this week. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.